OK, so we're going to work through these four examples. So the first up, we've got the integral of x minus 3 times x minus 5 to the power of 10 dx. So the u in this case will be the x minus 5. So du by dx will be 1. And so du will just be dx. OK, so we've got a replacement for that. Now, we don't have a replacement for the x minus 3 yet. So in order to get x minus 3, I would have to add 2 to both sides of that equation. So I'd have u plus 2 must be x minus 3. So I now have a replacement for the x minus 3. So we have the integral of u plus 2 times u to the power of 10. And the dx has been replaced with du. So multiplying through by the u to the 10, I'll get u to the 11 plus 2u to the 10 du. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 1 twelfth u to the 12 plus 2 elevenths u to the 11 plus c. So we now want to uh, put the u back in. So that's the x minus 5. So 1 twelfth x minus 5 to the 12 plus 2 elevenths x minus 5 to the 11 plus c. OK, so that is the answer to number 1. <clears throat> Number 2, 3x plus 5 times 3x plus 10 to the 4. So the u will be the 3x plus 10. So du by dx will just be 3. So dx will be 1 third times du. Now, we've got a replacement for dx, 3x plus 10. We've got a replacement for dx. We need a replacement for the 3x plus 5. So in order to get 3x plus 5, I would have to have subtracted 5 from that side. So I subtract 5 from that side. So that must be u minus 5. So we have the integral of u minus 5. We've then got u to the power of 4. And the dx was 1 third du. So to tidy that up, multiplying through, we'll have 1 third u to the 5 and minus 5 thirds u to the 4. Then we can then integrate. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So uh, 3 sixes are 18. And then uh, dividing by 5, so minus a third u to the 5 uh, plus c. And so substituting the u back in, 3x plus 10 to the 6, take 1 third 3x plus 10 to the 5 plus c. OK, so that's the answer to number 2. <coughs> right, let's have a look at number 3. So we've got 10x minus 1 times 5x minus 3 to the 2 thirds dx. So the u would be the 5x minus 3. So du by dx would be equal to 5. So multiplying through uh, by dx, dividing by the 5, we get a replacement for the dx. Now we also need a replacement for the 10x minus 1. So what would I have to do? Well, I'd have to multiply. To get the 10x, I'm going to have to multiply both sides by 2. So that'll get me 2u is 10x minus 6. Then in order to get minus 1, I'd have to add 5 to both sides as well. So we'd have 2u plus 5 is 10x minus 1. So I now have a replacement for the 10x minus 1. So we're going to have the integral of 2u plus 5 times u to the 2 thirds. And the dx is replaced with 1 fifth du. OK, so let's tidy that up. So we're going to have 2 fifths u to the, well, we've got 1 plus 2 thirds, so 5 thirds. And then 5 times 1 fifth is 1, so plus u to the 2 thirds du. 
So we want to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So 2 fifths divided by the new power, so 8 thirds. So that's 3 twentieths u to the 8 thirds plus, so adding 1 to the power, we're going to get 5 thirds. So that'll be 3 fifths u to the 5 thirds plus c and then substitute the u back in, the 5x minus 3. OK, so there is my answer for number 3. <coughs> OK, so last one, number four. Now, you might be wondering, well, which is going to be the u here? So the u is going to be the 2x squared minus 3. We're going for the most complicated looking one. So u equals 2x squared minus 3. You might be wondering, well, why is that more complicated than that one? Well, this one's the power 4. OK, so you want that one. So du by dx will be 4x. So rearranging the dx will be 1 over 4x du. OK, now that takes care of that and that. I've got the 2x squared plus 1. Well, I could add 4 to both sides, so u plus 4 must be equal to 2x squared plus 1. OK, so I've got a replacement for that. Now the x, what's going to happen is there's going to be a convenient cancellation here. So I've got the integral of x. The 2x squared plus 1 is u plus 4. I've got uh, u to the power of 4, and the dx was 1 over 4x du. The x's will cancel. Multiplying through, we've got 1 quarter u times u to the 4, so u to the 5, plus 4 lots of a quarter is just 1, so u to the 4, du. So integrating... Adding 1 to the power, dividing by new power, 4 lots of 6 is 24, so 1 over 24, u to the power 6, plus 1 over 5, u to the power 5, plus c. So the u is 2x squared minus 3. And that is the answer for the final question for number 4.